আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম এভরিবডি টু মাই অনলাইন ক্লাস আই থিঙ্ক অল অফ দ্য স্টুডেন্টস অফ ক্লাস এইট ইউ আর রেডি ফর ডুইং মাই সেকেন্ড ক্লাস আই থিঙ্ক দ্য স্টুডেন্টস অফ ক্লাস এইট ইউ আর রেডি টু অ্যাটেন্ড মাই ক্লাস সো দ্য স্টুডেন্টস বি রেডি অ্যান্ড বি কেয়ারফুল and keep eyes on my class first of all i am giving my identity dear students i am abdullah mamu assistant teacher english kolagopa kutilpedi high school so students let's start our class first look at the picture and guess what is it and in the first picture what can you see and what is the feelings here expressed the first picture second picture third and fourth the student you have to guess what's emotion and feelings are here so it is the clue to you so think about the picture and what is expressed here you have to guess it okay i am giving you one minute to think about the pictures okay time is over i think that the student you are able to guess this picture the children they are playing with trees here a gentleman who is holding a tree what is expressed here i think that you can guess and what is this pictures expression i think that you can also guess here a lady who is sleeping on a tree in the last picture the fourth picture here a boy who is planting trees that's mean is sapling so i think that you just think about it all of them they are tree lovers they are tree lovers so your thinking is correct obviously you are right so students our today's lesson is about a man who loves tree a man who loves tree it is unit 5 lesson 4 of your textbook so student we can proceed what can you see on the monitor what can you see on the monitor can you guess who is the person do you know that very person do you know student can you guess I think that if you uh, go through the book textbook you may guess it easily no problem now i am acquainting that very person let us introduce this person i think you also guess it he is kartik puramanik and i am also giving his full identity his father name is shuren pramanik mother shubhaj wala village tarapur upazila shivganj district chapainabagganj birth year 1942 profession here dresser passion planting trees quantity of plant more than 100 identity actually he is a natural lover so student obviously you are right of your thinking now we may go to the next slide students i think you will be very attentive on this slide and keep focus what is it profession that's mean on this slide 
I will try to acquaintance you with some unknown words. So be attentive and careful. What is profession? What do you know by profession? Guess about it. I think you can understand. Here you can see a man who is cleaning the beard of an another man. So it is his profession. The man, actually he is a barber. He is cutting the hair or beard of another person who is called hairdresser. Actually it is a profession. So profession means occupation, job, business. Occupation, job, business. That is called profession. So you can easily understand your father has also a profession. I am also teaching. Teaching is also a profession. Such type of profession we know about them. Next. A sentence you can student you can see here a sentence here Kartik Puramani is a hairdresser by profession Kartik Puramani is a hairdresser by profession here profession is important word for you. next the students I think you are alert can you guess what is it? Sapling. Sapling means a small size plant and we can transplant the trees from one place to another that is small sized trees is called sapling meaning seedling plantlet spring now watch a sentence here Kartik used to plant sapling Kartik used to plant sapling what is sapling I think sapling means small sized plant and especially you can think about a mango tree a mango plant and we transplant it from one place to another and here you can see a jackfruit tree which is small in size and if we transplant it from this place to another in a suitable place then it, it will turn into a big plant one day so small sized plant is called sapling and keep alert of this sentence Kartik used to plant sapling next mission the word mission what can you understand by mission yes thinking about this picture here some runners they are running through a mission and you are reading keeping a mission I think that why you are reading if you ask yourself you can easily get the answer you have also a mission that's when you have also a target so meaning duty operation target that is called mission suppose think about you want to be a doctor someone want to be a pilot so it is their mission you want to be a doctor so it's your mission I think you can easily understand now making a sentence with the word mission no vision is succeeded without a mission no vision is succeeded without a mission 
so everybody should have a target if someone have a target he can fulfill it easily so i think that student you can understand the word mission is clear to you so next think gigantic gigantic it's an awful word gigantic think about the picture it's a banyan tree it's not small in size it's not a bonsai it is a huge plant very big plant it's a very big plant students i think you can guess it it's a banyan tree very big size tree this tree is gigantic type tree so the meaning gigantic think it's a giant like picture giant like tree meaning huge massive large huge massive large large mean very big so i think the student you can guess it gigantic so think about a banyan tree which is large in shape so it's called gigantic make a sentence what is gigantic tree it is what is gigantic tree it is think about the shape of the tree it's giant like tree so it is a gigantic tree so it's an exclamatory sentence what is gigantic tree it is that's me it is a gigantic tree so i think it's clear to you next passion what do you understand by passion think about the picture what can you guess what can you see on the picture can you realize something thinking about the picture here a bird so i have great love to her two children a bird has two kids here a father has a son actually what is the bond among them think about they have great love each other they have great love on another this great love affection is called passion so what is the meaning desire love appetite what desire desire that's mean wish love that's mean affection adoration feelings positive one to another is called love positive feelings next appetite that's mean desire of something that is called appetite next a sentence here you have to make various sentence with this word passion here i am showing a sentence here for an example we can say these are the symbol of heavenly passion these are the symbol of heavenly passion heavenly passion actually the picture shows us heavenly passion each each other one another i think you are very clear about the word passion now student think about you have a great love to your mother to your father 
This feeling is called passion. This feeling is very important because your feeling to you, mother, is called passion. Can you guess? I I think that uh, is very clear to you. Students, keep your eyes on the monitor. Here you can see the Sheep Gunch Upajila. It is the remote corner of Bangladesh, the farthest corner of Bangladesh. It is the birthplace of Kartik Puramanik. Here the student, our pointing or targeting area, Sheep Gunch. Sheep Gunch is the place where Kartik Pramani lives in the place of Sheep Gunch. Next, it's also the Sheep Gunch Upajala. It is the place of Sheep Gunch. Actually, it is Sheep Gunch is under the Chapaina of Gunch. So, I think the student. It's the sheep gunch and sheep gunch is here. So you can understand where sheep gunch is. Next. That is Kartik Puramanik and it is his village Tarapur. What is the village name of Kartik Puramanik? That is Tarapur. Tarapur is the village of Kartik Puramanik. So it's the important information to you. Kartik Puramanik lives in this village. Next, think about the picture. It's a barren place. There is no tree. Without tree, an area turned into a barren place. The area gradually turns into a desert. What is the consequence of it? Only lack of trees or without trees, an area turns into a barren land or a desert. Like Tarapur. Once upon a time, Tarapur was like this picture because lack of trees. I think you uh, can easily understand it. Next picture. Can you guess? It is the present Tarapur and it is the past Tarapur. Now you can read here. Before 72 years, Tarapur was like that picture before the 72 years ago 72 years ago think it it's an information to you next year the present tarapur is the greenland so student here you can see beside the root many trees much more trees are here what is the difference between two pictures, student? Can you guess? It is the green land, but it is the barren land. Why? Because both sides of the roots, you can see many trees are here. These trees makes the land green land, greeny area. So you know that our today's demand is Greenland. To make the world a happy world, we have to plant more trees to make the world greeny. Tarapur is now a happy area for planting more trees. So it is the present situation of Tarapur and it was the past situation of Tarapur. So I think 
you can understand Tarapur is a green light. Think. Think about the picture. That very person, very oldest person, I think he is a farmer. He is a farmer. And another person who is now very tired. He needs rest. He needs rest. Because both of them, they were working in the farmland. But after doing a hard work, they need rest. So in this case, they need a sh shade, a shadow of the tree. From where? By sitting, they can take rest. But think about the picture. They have no chance to take rest here because this area, in this area, there is no tree. No tree, there's been no shade, no chance of rest. So, very important information to you. No shade, Kartik would get tired in the scorching sun like the pictures. Once upon a time, Kartik Puramanik, he also felt the necessity of trees because according to his profession he has to go to the public house from one house to another house for cutting here for cutting the here because you know that Kartik Pramanik is a barber he is a hairdresser so that's why he needs to go to the person's house of his village for cutting the hair purpose. So sometimes he wants to take rest on the way. But there was no tree. So he felt the necessity of trees like that very person. So, Kartik Puramanik decided to plant trees. His planting mission at the age of 10. Tree. Actually, trees are the main organ of our environment. You know, student, they give us oxygen. It's important for us. Oxygen is mainly important for our living because we can breathe in oxygen. We have to breathe in oxygen for our living. So, student, your EFT, I think that is mostly important book to you. So take it and go through the text. Read about the text. Actually, for the online class now, I am also reading the text. So you have to match the pronunciation, the utterance of the word when I utter. You have to be alert of the pronunciation. Okay? Okay, student, now I am reading out. Kartik Ut woke up early in the morning, take one or two laborers with him and set out to plant trees. He would walk long distances to plant trees. 
carrying with him some dry food and water, he would pay all the expenses from his own pocket. Kartik has planted trees beside the roads in and round the Bajar, schools and colleges, open fields and many other places. At times, it so happened that Kartik would go to water his plants at 10 or 11 pm. People asked him, Karti, are you mad? What are you doing so late at night? Karti could smile and say, What to do, sir? I have to work hard the whole day to earn money for my family. I don't get time during the day, but my trees would die if I don't water them. So I come late at night to look after them. Even today, this old man continues planting trees as many as he can. A man who can hardly sign his name is leaving his signature all around in nature. So student, read out this passage several times. So now I am going to the next session. Here you have to participate with the activities. So get ready. True or false? Is the question to you? True or false? If false, you have to give the correct information. So get ready. He planted the first tree 50 years ago. Is it true or false? It's your activity. So think about it. Next, Kartik borrowed money from others to plant trees. Kartik borrowed money from others to plant trees. It's also and information to you, you have to think about it is right or wrong. Okay? If false, you have to give the correct information. Next, he would plant trees around his heart only. Think about it. Is the information correct or wrong? Think about if wrong or false. You have to give the correct answer. Okay. Next question. At times, Karti would water his trees at night because he felt lazy during the day. He felt lazy during the day. That's why. So think it's your uh, activity. So I can do anything here. After thinking, I'll give you a good solution. So thank you first. Is it true or false? I think you have to pause the video and think about this information, right or wrong, true or false. If false, you have to give the correct information. So pause the video now, start your activity and after five minutes, I'll come back again. Okay? Pause it. Welcome back after five minutes. The students, I think that you are ready with your answer. So here all the informations are false. All the informations are false. He planted the first trees 50 years ago. It's false. So this answer you can find out in the text. So you have to go to the lecture of my earlier lecture so you have to go to the earlier lecture so then you can get the information i don't give you the information because it's your activity so i am just giving it's true or false but you have to find out the right answer from the text 
Patrick borrowed money from others to plant trees. It's also wrong information. He would plant trees around his hut only. No, I think that it's not correct. You are correct, but this information is not correct. Next, at times Kartik would water his trees at night because he felt lazy during the daytime, during the day. It's also false information. So you have to collect the right information from the text. Okay, student, go to the next activity. It's also your activity, so you have to participate here. Multiple choice question. Okay, get ready. Think about, you have to answer now. Kartik was a dash by profession. What will be the answer? You have to choose from the four items. Okay. Cultivator. Do you know cultivator? Cultivator that means planter, the tiller whose profession is farming is called cultivator, farmer, tree planter, the man who planting trees is called tree planter. You are also a tree planter because you plant trees. I am also a tree planter because sometimes I also plant tree. Day laborer, day laborer is the person who engaged daily activities, daily works for his livings and he is hired by the employer. So that very person who is hired by the employer is called a day laborer. He works for the daily salary. Daily salary based labor is called the day laborer. Here dresser, the man or person who cut here. It's called hairdresser. There's been a barber. So Kartik was a dash by profession. His profession was, I think you are right. You have to find out whose information is correct here. Next, his mission is to make the village green by dash. His mission, you know the word mission because in the early of the lecture, you can get this information. Cultivating paddy in his in the fields. Cultivating paddy in the fields. Actually, paddy cultivation was his profession, was his mission. Then you can easily find out. Is it right or wrong? Next, growing grass in all the fellow land grass cultivating grass growing i think it, 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 it is not his profession it is not his activities so you can guess it planting fodder for the cattle cattle that's been domestic animals especially the bullocks cows ox etc i think this information is it suitable? Next, planting many trees. Planting many trees. That's been planting more and more trees. Some of Kartik's trees are big and what? Big and what? So you have to get the idea from the below. Great, gigantic, enormous, kingly. Word meaning you have to know great, gigante, enormous, kingly. So I think it's very difficult to find out the correct answer from here. So you have to find out the word meaning from the dictionary. So you have a good relation with the dictionary. Then you have also a get idea from the text. So both things may get you the good answer of this question. So 
collect a dictionary and find out the word meaning of four. Some of his trees are dash years old. You will get the answer from the text. Next, dear students, you can see on the slide it is the homework of you. So you have to keep your eyes on this chapter, on this monitor very carefully and you have to note the questions on your notebook because you have to answer it. So pause the video and note down all the questions on your notebook and you have to answer it. So at the ending point I am saying that the students you have to be very serious of your study and you have to answer all the questions here and you have to put the answers in the comment box then I will try to evaluate them so student I have to say goodbye but before saying goodbye I am again saying plant trees more and more and save the environment if you plant more trees our environment will be very suitable for our living and our society our environment our family our breathing everything will be easy for us so the student it's my request to you plant more and more trees so the students you have to stay at home because you know that COVID-19 is a very dangerous disease which is caused by coronavirus so that's why we have to stay at home but staying at home you will prepare yourself for the answering examination so wish you good health and say goodbye love face